Governor Gavin Newsom just finished delivering his annual State of the State address, and he touched upon several hot-button topics that are likely to be key in the November election. That includes abortion. The governor pledged that California will continue to be a safe haven for women seeking all types of reproductive care. He also addressed the effort to secure the southern border. California has sent the National Guard to border crossings to help stop the flow of fentanyl into the U.S. from Mexico. Governor Newsom touted the results. These operations have resulted in the seizure of over 62,000 pounds of fentanyl in 2023, a 1,066% increase since 2021. In the first five months just of this year alone, counter drug operations have led to the seizure of some estimated 5.8 million pills containing fentanyl statewide. Governor Newsom also talked about California's effort to tackle the homeless problem. He says no state in the country has done more to address the issue. The governor says since he took office in 2019, California agents have cleared 9,300 dangerous encampments and have helped move people into shelters or permanent housing. And California's Republican Party issued a rebuttal to the governor's state of the state address. This is a person that's kind of unhinged. Uh, and not willing to take responsibility for being the top leader of this state and not talking about the state of the state. Did you hear anything really about the state of the state? Let me tell you what the state of the state is right now. It's a husband and wife sitting around that kitchen table, head in hands, trying to figure out how to pay the bills. Peach, the very things that have made us successful as a tactic. In his statement, the GOP's chairwoman also took aim at the governor for delaying his state of the state address by 99 days. It was originally scheduled for March, but Governor Newsom pushed it back as he waited for the results of Proposition 1. That's the ballot measure he supported to transform the state's mental health system and address the homelessness crisis. Voters did approve that measure.